I made it to the top of the hill, but yeah, I have general all season tires. Oh shit, this is not good. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Buckets of nope. As usual, it wouldn't be in a two garage if it wasn't late. I'm just gonna get to the gondola, get to the overlook, then I get to go to the wedding. Wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. There's another one and people dancing. In some kind of high speed ish gondola up to the wedding I'm late for. <laughs> well, Jeff did say it was snowy and crappy, but uh, it was nice a few hundred yards back. <laughs> up on top of a mountain in the Rockies, Telluride, or Jeff said we're gonna do it. This is the wedding, and so. It's gonna be fun. It's actually not that cold at least. There's a little bit of wind, there's some snow obviously, but it's, it's gonna be fun. So congratulations, Jeff. You deserve a great wedding, man. Honestly, this is kind of awesome. One to remember, that's for sure. <laughs> Peaks Resort and Spa now. It's beautiful down here. Apparently that's the Telluride Airport runway. See, it kind of goes down and then up, so that's very interesting. But beautiful out here. Yeah, nice, nice things they got here too, four star hotel. So this wedding's about to pop off with some dancing and all that good stuff. Just cut the cake. Jeff, nice job. Just got up after the wedding and stayed in this pretty bomb condo. But there is one problem. And apparently it's supposed to be snowing on the whole route back to the Boulder area today. And my car has crappy all seasons that are like balding on the inside. So it's gonna be a fun day. All right, I'm leaving from the wedding, but I gotta plug my bro. This is Jeff's new Grand Cherokee Trailhawk. Like I said, he has a Lexus drift build. Y'all should go subscribe to his channel if you haven't yet. And this thing is, like I said, a Trailhawk. It's the V8, it can tow, it can off-road. It's a beast, it looks cool, Jeff is cool. Go subscribe, I'll try to put a little link. And this is what I'm working with. Luckily the snow is melting as it hits the roads right now. I gotta walk back to the hotel real quick to get my car from the valet, which it's always hilarious to give a 93 Impreza rust bucket to a valet. Stick shift especially, with like a cable clutch. Lots of fun. <laughs> back from the valet and uh, natural state of being for my car, covered in white, perfect. Perfect, gotta get some clothes and change and then leave. Well, it is beautiful and it reminds me of home. So there's that. That's gonna be an interesting drive back through the Rockies. I'm just stopping at Telluride to visit real quick because I haven't actually seen the town proper. I'm right past Telluride and Pandora, I think, close enough to it and this is pretty crazy. I just wanted to go see it. So here we go, dirt roads. Now it's just like being at home. Wow, it's 
it's crazy out here. So check this out, I'm in Pandora just past Telluride. And there's this nice blue pond here. Clearly some kind of mining operation. The yellow aspens, the mountains right there, the sun is out. This is, this is gorgeous. Wow. Glad I made this quick little detour. Here's the beast. Natural habitat, snow and dirt. Wow. So I have to come back here because there's more to see. You can get up to almost six and a half miles up this dirt road, but it says right there, four wheel drive, high clearance only. And while I am pretty confident that I could make it at least most of the way in the 93, I can't afford to beat it up right now on this trip. And I think my rear right strut that I didn't replace just started knocking. So, you know, that's life, but yeah, I just, I don't know, this is incredible. Like, I gotta come back now. Wow. And Telluride is just crazy cool. It's super pretty. I'm sure it's hella expensive to live here though. I just turned on to Route 50 to go back to the Rockies and that's gonna connect to 285. This is the route that basically goes right through the middle of the mountains. Whereas to get to the wedding, I took Route 70, which kind of takes the northern pass, if you will. And then when I go south to go to New Mexico and Arizona, I'm gonna be taking the pass that goes around like the east and south side of the mountains. So gonna get to take all three routes through the Rockies basically which is pretty cool. Quick note, this is my first time ever having Sonic. I got the Hatch Green Chili Burger and they gave me breath mints, which is pretty considerate of them. So my review of the Sonic Burger was, you know, could have done with a little less mustard, a little more green chilies, but it was good and decently priced, you know, got the mints. Nothing, nothing beats the shopping bag in Burlington, Vermont though, so, you know. on one side of me and dreary on the other side and now it's basically sleeting. This is crazy. It's probably in the high 30s to low 40s temperature out but it felt nice because of the sun and now it's just, you know, it's just crazy. I'm at the Monarch Crest Continental Divide Pacific Atlantic elevation 11,312 feet. Just some good old mountains and elevation and yeah.
pretty cool. And my way back down the mountain, Monarch Mountain, I believe. Uh, the weather's gotten worse, and I am stuck behind a little bit of traffic, but I'll be able to get around pretty soon. A lot less pretty out, and now just more dark and foreboding. Oh, and side note, I like this Accord V6, even though it has a tail light out. I like that style. getting real nice. I am hoping to make a quick stop in Bailey to look at a really cool car, but you know, we'll see what the weather's like and if it's any light left when I get there. I'm about an hour away. But, yep, hopefully this doesn't turn to <clears throat> snow that sticks on the road or anything like that. This is turning a little bit blizzardy. It's pretty weird to have like no visibility in that direction. I like it good amount in that direction but uh yeah this is super sketch now and uh i'm mostly worried about braking but luckily i'm out of the really high elevation or i'd have to pull over for fear of you know going straight off of a massive cliff but yeah I, I really don't have a lot of traction i can't speed up i was holding up some traffic so i had to like pull over for a little bit you know um but, but yeah, it's, it's going okay. I'm used to this as a Vermonter, but this is still bad. Well, I made it up the steeper part of this hill um, by basically having the wheel turn like that, <laughs> about, you know, a half a rotation, no joke, uh, to fight the sideways slant to the right. And then a car was coming up on me, so I had to pull over. So now I'm just in first, slowly getting to the top. Slowly. Go, Bessie, go. Oh, oh. Let me reiterate, I have, whoa, whoa, really, really, not crappy, but like, they're like half bald on the inside all seasons. Um, General Ultimax, I think. No, those are the Arctics. I made it to the top of the hill, but yeah, I have general all season tires. Oh, sh this is not good. Nope, 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 <laughs> Buckets of nope. Uh, hmm, hmm, uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, that's, that's not a good plan. Um, yeah, we'll see. It is to go down as far right as possible, keeping my flashers on and, and hoping for the best. Yup. Of course, right as I start, three cars come right up behind me so that I can make everybody upset. I'm, I'm making Vermont look bad here, but listen, listen. It's a front-wheel drive Subaru, first of all, and I do not have the tires for this. Any Vermonter will tell you that snow tires matter. Oh, man. Oh, this, this gets good. I wish I had this all on film, but in some ways I'm glad that I don't. This has been the sketchiest ride of my life. And, uh, yeah, fuck, fuck this. Listen, I've done quite a bit of winter driving, and this isn't even that bad in terms of conditions, but on these tires, and with, with these hills, and with traffic behind you, holy crap, man. There was times where there was a, a camber on the road, and the whole car would just start to go that way, and if I had even tapped the brakes, it would have just been boom, off. And I, they weren't cliffs, but they were big, big, steep hills, and, uh, yeah, so I literally just had to steer and give it a little gas and make sure I didn't go in the other lane. And it, oh my God, it was sketchy. Got passed by a semi at one point because he couldn't slow down that much, you know? So I, I think I'm in a more level area, but I've seen plows going by. So I'm hoping one's gonna come in my direction soon and, and then I'll carry on because this is just getting too sketch for my tires. I'm, I'm probably gonna pick up some winter tires 
uh, before I leave Colorado just to have them at least. All right, so it's still crap out here, but there may be a break. So yeah, it, it, it's looking like I can probably get going soon. I've only been here for like 10 minutes. Probably gonna get going again, but this is what it looks like out here right now. A few trucks stopped because they know what's safe, you know? So the trucker stopped behind me. I was just talking to him and he's got this cute little dog, Sophie. Sophie, hello, hello, are your feeties cold? <laughs> and yeah, we were just talking about the weather and the traffic and the stupid drivers. So I'm probably gonna get going while there's still a little break in the weather and see what I can do, but these guys are hauling out here. <laughs> Bye, Sophie. <laughs> Very cute. Well, this is what I was waiting for. We gabbed long enough that the plow got here and then the truck driver was right up to say, oh, he's gonna spray us, so we're standing back. Oh no, he's pulling over. He wanted to pull over, my car's in the way. <laughs> Sorry, plow. My bad. He better not turn around. <laughs> Oh, okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, help me. Oh, well, thanks for your work, plow. On the road again. I'm a little bit scared to get on the road again. No, I'm just kidding. This actually isn't bad now. But that was fun talking to that truck driver. Good times on the road trip. Not my lucky day. The plow turned around. But, uh,. The road does look clear down there. I just stopped to clear off my side view mirrors because they were a little caked in snow, so tally ho, I guess. The road's improved for a while, but then it got dark and the roads got worse and the hills got steeper, so we're still having fun, but I, I have decent traction right now at least, compared to earlier. This is a pretty steep hill, by the way. Don't know if you can really tell from the camera perspective. It just keeps getting like better and worse and better and worse, and like, yeah, I can never keep a consistent pace. I think right now I actually have good traction, but because it's snowing so hard, it's pretty sketch. This blows. This guy just cool until he flies off the friggin' road. He must have his snow tires on already. It's finally letting up, and I don't think I've ever been in third gear for that long in my life, and this has delayed me basically two hours, so that's pretty cool. Oh well, it's a trip, it's an adventure. I'm having fun. I actually am, but it's that kind of fun that it's like, this isn't the kind of fun I wanted, but I'm having it now. You know, scary, life-threatening fun. <laughs> I thought I was finally done, but I'm climbing again. This is Crow Hill apparently, but at least it's Crow Hill and not Crow Pass or Crow Mountain something so hopefully it'll be over soon and hopefully this is the last large elevation change but we'll see. You know what's almost as cool as blizzard snowfall? Really thick fog. Yeah. Hey if any of you actually made it all the way to this point in the video you're a real trooper. Hope you're enjoying the adventure and uh, I don't know let me know what your favorite part was I guess down in the comments that'd be great. Uh, thanks. Bye. Well, Jesus, what a mess. Finally made it back to Boosted Boys HQ. I was hoping to be here a lot earlier and see if Kyle wanted help with anything or whatever, but at least I made it. It is 9.50 p.m., over two hours later than I wanted to be, but that's life. Hey, folks, just so you know, I did make it back last night. I made a little outro there, but I had some fuzz on my face, and I think it'd be more interesting to record in a cool environment anyways, but I made it back to Boosted Boys HQ, survived the trip through the Rockies, and uh, yeah, I'm alive. If only just, and that's pretty much what counts. Uh, we're hopefully gonna do some more work on the cars today. Kyle's out doing some things. We'll see what happens. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you made it all the way to the end and you're not subscribed, I don't really know what you're doing here, so you know you should probably subscribe. But like the video, leave a comment. You know I always love talking to y'all. 
yeah, just I really appreciate the support. This road trip is awesome so far, and uh, it'll take me a while to edit all this content, but I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching 802 Garage. I'll catch you all very soon.